everyone, it's Tamara with Tamara's Colorful Coven. I'm here today to do a video review of some markers that I had sent to me, which I want to apologize to this company for that it took me a while to get this together. Um, Color Yaya sent me their 28 uh, count of their pastels, uh, 28 dual tip markers plus one blender. Um, it comes in a carrying case. Now, when I first got it, I thought, there's some missing because there's enough room for a couple more. So I counted them out, and sure enough, it, they were all there, but it just looked like they were missing. Um, it does not, I will be the first day, it does not come with a color chart. So um, I did notice that it said to, um, I think it was on the back here. Hold on. That I need to use them on, like, paper like almost cardstock paper. So I'm using actually one of their coloring books, which is the Mandala Midnight Nature, or Man, excuse me, Mandala's Magical Not, Mandala's Magical Nature Night Coloring Book. If I could just talk today. Okay, I wanna show first, this is a blender, and I wanna show, I love the feel of these, I really do. These are alcohol-based markers, guys. So just to let you know. Um, now, I'm not sure if it's going to... If it bleeds through this side, I don't care. It's just the cover page. It's, you know. But I wanted to show how they looked on rig or on the cardstock paper. Now, if you guys use this on regular, any type of other regular paper, make sure you have something be behind it as a blotter page. Um, especially if it's like thin paper. And also make sure if you're going to use it that there's nothing on the back of it that you don't want to ruin in case you might want to color it again. And I will also leave a link down below, not just for how to get these colored markers, but also to their Facebook group. And I think, don't quote me on it, I think they've got also a Facebook page. And I'm thinking also someone told me that they had an Instagram page. I will link those down below too and stuff. But... Let's get going. Now, I'm going to name these off, too. I'm going to try to go in color order. I'm going to try. And guys, bear with me. I have not used markers in God knows how long. I have been mostly coloring with gel pens because that's gotten to be where it's my favorite thing now is gel pens. Oh, wait. I got yellows here. Is um, gel pens here. So, and let me... Aryea 28 Pastel. Okay. Now I'm going to try to name these off too. And by number, okay. 219. Light yellow. And 255. Hold on here. Butternut squash. Or yeah, butternut squash. Okay. Now we're gonna do the. Wait a minute, I gotta see which one. I want to show. Okay, this is the small nib, the bullet nib. And this is the fat nib. And I'm going to use the fat nib. There's the light yellow. And here is 255 butternut squash. And that's more orange. Okay. Now we're gonna do the pinks. Oh, hold on guys. I dropped one. You have to excuse the mess on my desk. My energy level for having to clean my desk is like, I've got a mess all the way around my desk and under my desk and on top of my desk. So I've got some major cleaning to do. Okay, the next one is 527. 
Carnation. Ooh, my favorite flower. Okay, here. Next one. Wait, 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 wait. That's 527. Go 529. Brink Pink. Now, I'm not sure because I don't have their other markers. I'm not sure if the other markers coincide, if they like have their number patterns too and you just add these to them, so I'm not sure. And what's really wild is when <laughs> they asked me if I wanted these, I just had on, I was going to get some pastel markers to begin with because I did need some. And I was, I was going to use them for certain things that I color. I don't use markers a lot anymore. But I was like, I was just happy to look at these. And, I was, and when they came and asked me, I was like, yeah, I'd love to. Okay, there's Brink Pink. Okay, 530 is Bubblegum. Okay, 540. Bogonia. B-E-G. Hold on. O-N-I-A. Begonia. That's it. Okay. And then 555, which is Orchid. Okay. Now. Let's start with 527. I hear you. Sorry, my cat's in the bathroom and he's making noise. Okay, this is Carnation. That's kind of bright. Okay, we need Brink Pink. Brink Pink, which is 529. Ooh, that's very bright. Now I want to check something here. Because I'm not... Oh, it's not going through at all. It's not ghosting. It would be up in here. It's not ghosting at all. Wow. Okay. The next one is 530. Bubble gum. And well, that's kind of bright too. Okay, begonia. 540. Oh, that's real bright. Okay, and the last one is Orchid. Yeah, Orchid 555. Oh, I like that one a lot. I really like that one a lot. Okay, now let's do the purples. What's that? Hold on here. Okay, I guess I'll get the blues with it too. Okay, well, I'm going to do these ones next. Okay, 568, which is mauve. Five seventy, which is iris. And then three ninety which is baby blue. Okay, here, so we're gonna do 568 first. Ooh, almost kind of a grayish blue. Okay, the, the iris, which is 570. And that is very purple. And now the, what the heck? Haven't used that, it's got a blue mark on it already. Okay, now the baby blue. Hmm, not too sure whether I wanna call that baby blue or more like a pale aqua. It looks more like the color of water. <laughs> Okay, the next ones are, okay, 388, which is Blue Horizon. Okay, 
415. Dolphin Blue. Four forty teal. I hear you, Mr. Biscuits. Okay, let's do three thirty or three eighty eight, excuse me, which is stop, which is blue horizon. Next one is Dolphin Blue, which is 415. Whoopsies. Ooh, that's very blue. That puts me in mind of an electric, excuse me, electric blue. Now I got the hiccups. Sorry, guys. Let's see about teal. Well, that looks more like teal. But that Dolphin Blue reminds me of electric blue for some reason. Okay, well, let me get my greens out. Okay, let me see what's next here. Okay, I'm going to do 218, which is mellow yellow. It looks like almost like a green. Okay, here. Three twenty two Jade. Three twenty eight Lake Green. Three thirty-three jungle green Okay three seventy oh, wait 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 Okay I see one that I should have done before Mellow Yellow which is three oh seven and it's Kiwi I can barely see it Okay, 350 pickle three seventy seven spearmint okay let's go with the mellow yellow Darn it, I don't want that one. That's a very pale yellow. Very pale. Okay, Jade. Jade right there. Now I'm wondering about something here. That's more of a light green. Okay, Lake Green. That's one. This one right here. Next one, three oh seven. That's this one here. This is the Kiwi. Oh, I like that one. I really like that one. It's a yellow green. Green's my favorite color, you guys. Now, this mellow yellow seriously looks like it's just fading into the picture, to the paper. And I'm using the type of paper that they say to, but I, it seriously, it looks like it's been, um, how do I want to say it? Um, faded from the sun. That's how light it is. You can't even see it picking up on the, the screen. That's how light it is. Pickle. That's more like a color of cactus or avocado. Okay, let me get my jungle green. Jungle green right here. Ah, if I can. Okay, here. 
And now the spearmint. Ah. Okay, now we're gonna do the brown tones. Which, let me write this down here, okay. 211, oh, come on. Which is walnut cream. Let's see here. 248, satin peach. Eight forty two Cedar, eight forty three Cinnamon. Okay, go with my walnut cream. Okay, now that's weird. It's supposed to be like the color that's. This color, and that's an orange tip. Ah, that's a peach. Walnut cream in this is a peach. Okay, so let's do satin peach. Let's see what this is. Ooh, that's a very bright peach. Okay, let's do cedar next. And now for cinnamon. Ooh, that is a dark brown. Okay, now. Okay. Let's see here. Nine, ten. Okay, I don't know what this is. G R E I G E Geiger. Gage or Grege? Grege is what I'm thinking. 920 is steel. 933 is Freud. F I O R D. 422, Pigeon Blue, ah, okay, do not, 910, which is Geiger, Greg, Grage, For some reason that puts me in mind a pewter. I don't know why. Uh, 920 steel. Next, oops. Next one is Freud or Fr Fried or F I O R D. That is more like a bluish gray. Like a titanium, almost. The next, last one is Pigeon Blue. That's just a lighter version of that one. Okay. Okay, guys. You know, I don't mind these markers at all. The only thing I'm not happy with is the Mellow Yellow. It is so pale. One, you can't even tell. You can't even see it on the camera. And like I said, it looks like, honestly, like it's been sun faded. It's that pale and it's, it's not picking up at all. Um, I like everything else. I'm just putting them back in here. And I do love the uh, carrying case and stuff because it helps me be able to stack them up and put them away in my cabinet that I have. I'm just putting it back away here. Do yeah, I do. Okay, here. Uh, and it does have a lock on it, as you can see. And um, basically, it says join our coloring community on face on Facebook. That's basically just these in different 
uh, languages. Um, let me see here. As far as I know of nothing else, but I do remember reading somewhere that uh, to use them on thick paper, and I can't remember where. I think it may have been on Amazon, which I will leave a link down below of where you can get it on Amazon and stuff, but I, I it had to have been on their uh, their ad for to use it on the their or uh, well heavy cardstock which I just used one of their books is for it all but the I like them like I said the only one that bothers me is this mellow yellow it really does because you can't even tell it's there basically so but anyways I'll talk to you later bye bye